Hello guys, today will be the first video in three videos about Laravel reports with three different examples and different topics but around the same area of report of some kind. In this first video of this mini-series I want to talk about Laravel Excel. So for example you have some kind of table which performs eloquent query or query builder query from the database and then you need to export that to Excel or to CSV or PDF or whatever. And the problem here is that this button would perform the same query for the second time. What if that query is pretty big one and pretty slow? Could we avoid repeating that query the second time? We can with caching and let me demonstrate. Of course, there's a chance that the caching would be automatically performed on the database level by MySQL or whatever driver you have, but you cannot fully guarantee that. So let's take a look at the code example. So imagine you have a report controller with invoke or export method, whatever you call that, which gets the data via employee report service, some kind of external service. It may be actually outside of service, it doesn't really matter that much. That method is just for performing the database query with some parameters. And then in your blade you would have the table itself with data and then export button to export that the same data with the same parameters which would technically perform the same query twice. So how would you avoid that? This is one of the way with caching. So you get the service result and you cache it for whatever amount of time you want. This is an example to cache the data for one hour for example but you can customize it to your needs and you assign the result to some kind of cache key which identifies, which uniquely identifies the specific case. So your parameters for example of employee IDs, start date and end date should be the parameters in the name of your caching key. So in this case the key of the cache is report name and all those three parameters imploded with PHP function. So you just save the result in that cache and then you provide that cache as a parameter to that blade which in turn passes that cache key to the export of Excel. You may use various packages for that Excel that doesn't really matter that much in this case I'm using Laravel Excel, the most probably the most popular package, but it doesn't matter that much. What matters is that it takes the data from cache. So we check if the cache is present, if not, then not found. We're basically making an assumption that the client performed the query visually on the page before exporting that to Excel. And then we pass that cache key as a parameter to the export file of that Laravel Excel. And in that export file, we get the data as a collection from cache. So that Excel class doesn't really perform any database query here. It just maps the result to the Excel columns and adds some headings and maybe some more visual things, but doesn't work with data because data comes from cache. So in this way, you're avoiding the same query to be run twice if it's within the same hour. Of course, as I mentioned a few times, there are quite a few assumptions here. So we're assuming that someone performed the report query visually, then that no one deleted the cache for whatever reason within that hour. And also, if that data has actually changed in the database, we will still return the old data exactly as it was on the visual representation. So in your particular case, if any of those assumptions are incorrect, then maybe my suggestion wouldn't work. But just consider it, if you have some really long and slow query, you may cache that in this way or in other way you prefer. What do you think about this method? Have you used something like this in your project? Or maybe you have other suggestions. As I mentioned, there are multiple ways of using caching in Laravel and in general in coding. So let's discuss in the comments. Finally, I want to remind you of a thing that I rarely mention in this YouTube channel videos that I have a newsletter, weekly newsletter every Thursday, especially for those who are following me on Twitter, but with Twitter changing their APIs almost daily. Not sure what may happen with Twitter in weeks or months. So email newsletter is the best way for you to find out all the Laravel news and things I publish. This is a list of previous newsletter issues that I had sent every week, as you can see. And I will link that in the description below and you can click join mailing list and join at this point 7,000 subscribers to get my tutorials every Thursday. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.